Omina Hellcat, a YouTube celebrity and Instagram influencer from Philadelphia, says he's now under the microscope of federal authorities. He claims agents seized nearly all of his assets in a raid last month while investigating his business dealings. He sat down exclusively with me to share how he's lost everything and how he intends to clear his name. 33-year-old North Philly native Bill Omar Carrasquillo is better known to his hundreds of thousands of YouTube subscribers and Instagram followers as Omi in a Hellcat, a diamond-clad exotic car enthusiast whose photos and videos showcasing his extreme wealth have garnered millions of views. But the lifestyle that attracted so many fans has apparently also grabbed the attention of the feds, who last month, according to Carrasquillo, seized millions in bank accounts, 30-plus cars, and electronics from properties he owns, including this mansion in Woolwich Township, New Jersey. Instead of going into hiding following the government raid, Carrasquillo has been open about his predicament, continuing to post YouTube videos. Bro, when I tell you they took everything, they took every SD card, every camera, every television, in my house, houses, they took every car. Carrasquillo and his attorney sat down exclusively with CBS3, addressing the investigation into possible tax evasion, copyright infringement, and money laundering. I was a multimillionaire a week ago, and now I'm down to nothing. Carrasquillo maintains that the fortune he's acquired has been through legal means. He owns a construction company and rental properties. And in mid-2016, he launched an internet-based streaming app called Gears TV Reloaded, where users pay a monthly fee to access premium cable, sports, and pay-per-view content. That idea made him a multimillionaire. He's being penalized for being creative and being innovative. There is no law that says he could not do what he was doing. Carrasquillo is not currently facing any charges, but in August, the Department of Justice shut down two similar streaming apps, announcing charges against eight people for violations of federal copyright law. Two of those defendants pleaded guilty earlier this month, but Carrasquillo says his operation is different. No copyright holders ever got in contact with me and say, hey, you can't do this, because there's there certain ways that I set the business up that's going to prove a, a million percent that it wasn't illegal. I just saw a loophole. I see counsel on it. They told me it wasn't illegal, and I went for it. And now I'm being punished for it. His attorney, Dante Mills, suspects his client is being targeted for being somewhat of an unlikely success story, given his background and where he grew up. They're confused as to how is this guy from North Philadelphia able to create so much wealth? He must be doing something wrong. That's unfair. He shouldn't be treated that way. Carrasquillo admits he does owe back taxes, which he attributes to a lack of financial literacy. He says he was making attempts to pay them before the government seized his assets. In the middle of us trying to work out a deal to pay them back, they came and seized everything. I mean everything, even the tablets off my kids' hands. With liens placed on his properties and his accounts frozen, he says he's unable to operate his businesses or pay his 30 employees. There's car notes. There's... There's a, a ton of families right now going through, like they can't even seek legal advice because they're, they're in this situation with me. So um, this is a bad situation for everyone in the table. So I, you know, I just hope that the, the U.S. attorney can see this and, and come to a resolution. Meanwhile, the FBI and the U.S. Attorney's Eastern District Office won't confirm nor deny the existence of an investigation. Now, a representative from the IRS tells me that federal law prohibits them from discussing any individual taxpayer situation. And right now, Carrasquillo says he's living off the proceeds from his YouTube revenue. So more to come with this story.